White Sand 3 is out! Okay, I'm working on finishing my White Sand slash Sand Mastery video, but after months and months of waiting, the final chapter of the White Sand graphic novel has been released. So I had to whip this video out real quick to tell you about it. White Sand is probably the least loved book in Brandon Sanderson's entire canon, which is unfortunate. The reception of the first graphic novel was meh at best, and the second was plagued with enough problems that they had to switch artists halfway through. Though, of all the Sanderson books I own, which is basically all of them, my copy of White Sand 2 holds a special place in my heart. That's right. It's number three. However, being the earliest entry in the Cosmere, there's quite a bit of information. Short, spoilery summary. In the first two parts, we meet Kenton, the son of the Lord Mastral, leader of the Sandmasters of Lawsand. Kenton, like his father and the rest of his guild, known as the Diem, have the ability to control particles of the white sand found virtually everywhere on the surface of their continent, dayside of Taldane, where the sun never moves in the sky and giant, scary, not-crab things can eat you unless you pour water on them. Kenton wants to increase his rank in the Diem, and Daddy Dearest says no. The reason? Kenton sucks at Sand Mastery. Okay, not that he sucks, but he's incredibly weak. To prove himself, Kenton picks up some balls in the desert, gets in a fight, listens to some tunes, and eventually gets a sash in his favorite color after some other dude, Dryle, loses it. Then, everyone dies. Except Kenton. He meets up with some people from Darkseid, most notably one Duchess Chrysala, who's looking for sand mages. And, really, Kenton? You couldn't connect Sand Mage to Sand Master? It's not that far of a leap. And after throwing some sand around, takes them to the capital of Lawson, Kazare, where he finds out that not everyone is dead, but everyone is out of a job. Hijinks ensue, where Kenton declares himself boss and is all of a sudden powerful. Chrysala looks for her missing fiancé and finds out Kenton can make sand glow. And everybody gets attacked everywhere, because everyone hates Kenton. Part 2 ended on a pretty decent cliffhanger, with Chrysala barging into the DM saying she wants to learn Sand Mastery. Literally just finished reading Part 3, and I can immediately say that it's my favorite one. The new artist, Fritz Casas, has done an excellent job continuing the feel and characterization of the story, but it's significantly cleaner and easier to read than the previous two installments. I was never confused as to who was speaking, each person was clearly recognizable, and it just looks so much better. Having read the prose version, the ending was no surprise. In fact, just having a passing familiarity of common fantasy tropes should tell you the ending. However, they did throw in one thing that was brand new, and raises some interesting questions. I'd tell you about it, but I don't want to spoil the magic by being too blunt. If you've waited this long to finally find out the ending, congratulations! Your wait is over! However, you totally could have found out what happens ages ago, because the original novel version of the story is actually available in Brandon Sanderson's newsletter. In case you didn't know that, here's how to get it. Go to Brandon's website, the About Brandon section, and hit Newsletter Sign Up. Pop in your email, prove you're not a Sion, then check your email and click on this. That will automatically download a Word document of the original White Sand prose version that Brandon wrote way back in the late 1900s. However, it's important to note that this version is no longer canon. Brandon has asked that we limit discussion of the original prose on public forums, so I won't get into specifics. Much of the original story got trimmed and condensed for the graphic novels, so we lost some world building and magic mechanics. But the senior cop is a woman now, so that's cool. Also. Skathen is a much better name than Scythe. Anyway, go read White Sand! Either the graphic novel, because it's official and complete now, or the prose, because it's still good. But go read it! My Sand Mastery analysis video should be out within a few days, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like and subscribe, I'm Steve, and this was Raffo.